My name is Mats Wiklan and I'm a specialist in obstetric and gynaecology. I started to work with IVF in 1978 in the Swedish group that was responsible for the first Swedish uh, IVF child born in 1982 in Gothenburg. In 1981 we were the first group uh, to start to use uh, transvaginal ultrasound guided follicle aspiration in local anesthesia. Since then we have practiced and developed a technique which is now uh, more or less the golden standard uh, for oocyte aspiration. The oocyte pickup procedure is an invasive uh, procedure and it normally is very anxious and stressful for the patient. To overcome this it's very impo important to inform the patient very carefully how the whole procedure will be performed. The aim of the procedure is to perform the whole procedure without any or very little pain. The pickup procedure can be performed in general anesthesia, local anesthesia or local anesthesia with concert sedation. There are pros and cons uh, with all the options but in my opinion local anesthesia with concert sedation is beneficial for the patient. With local anesthesia, there are no risk for respiratory or cardiovascular effects as in with general anesthesia and the pain is reduced to a well accepted level. In Sweden we have used local anesthesia with concert sed sedation since 1982 and found it very beneficial for the patient and the clinic. With regard to pain relief, we have found that the method is sufficient and the patient recover much quicker uh, and can leave the clinic much earlier as compared to when general anesthesia has been used. For the clinic it's very convenient since the uh, method is much quicker and uh, requires less resources as compared to general anesthesia. This is the standard method for oocyte aspiration in Sweden with approximately 10,000 aspiration per year and for the whole of Scandinavia 35,000 aspiration per year. Furthermore, the delivery rate in Sweden is among the best in the world. Using local anesthesia is very simple and straightforward. Immediately before starting the procedure, the patient is giving 0.25 mg alfentanil intravenously. The patient is then placed in a gynecological position. The vagina is thoroughly cleaned using sterile saline. By using a tenaculum, portia and the vaginal furnaces are exposed. Local anesthesia is applied by injecting 2.5 ml 1% lidocaine 8, 10, 2 and 4 o'clock around the portia just under the vaginal wall using a thin needle 0.9 mm in outer diameter and 120 mm long. The procedure using local anesthesia in concert sedation is in my opinion beneficial both for the patient and the clinic. It makes the procedure safe, simple and quick and is very well accepted by the patient. Most clinics have most of the equipment needed to start using the method. The only additional equipment needed is the needle for the local anesthesia and the medication for the concert sedation.